This episode is sponsored in part by Play Studios. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, for today's episode, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and see how important the high roller room is actually. So if you guys don't know, the My Vegas High Roller Room is a special collection of games that you have in My Vegas Slots in the Facebook version of the app, as well as the mobile version of the app too, where it features a lot of the same games, but it just kind of jacks them up to a million. So the bet lines are higher and the bonuses are even bigger. So I decided to go ahead and go into the high roller room with one of my personal favorites, Disco Dracula, and wanted to see if the high roller version is that much better than the regular version of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and give a mad shout out to my friends at Play Studios for hooking me up with about 4 billion chips so I could actually conduct this insane experiment with you guys. Because y'all know I like to do the experiments and they're just learning that. So let's go. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and get into my favorite room over here. And we're gonna go ahead and load up Disco Dracula. Okay, so having a look at the bet lines over here, it's looking like, I think we decided on grand for the jackpots. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down to a grand jackpot, meaning that we're gonna be putting about, let's see, over 100 spins. It'll just be 45 million chips through the machine, and we're gonna go ahead and see how we do with that. So let's go ahead and put our 100 spins on the clock per usual. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. First spin, not bad. All right, and this is looking pretty clean and quiet so far. I remember last time I played Disco Dracula, it was uh, one of the best games in my Vegas slots. I think I got something like a 100% payback percentage or it, it might have been higher than that. I have to double check to see how many uh, points I got back in one shot. I'm well, seem to be winning once every uh, five games or so. But we're gonna go ahead and see how we do with the big bonuses. And I know that the bonuses were per uh, they were pretty plentiful last time I played, so we're gonna go ahead and see how, the, how that goes. Oh, there's our first wild there. Let's go ahead and tap that. Boom. 900,000, all right, all right, all right. So the first bonus wasn't too bad there. Oh, that actually uh, pulled up quite a few wilds there, so awesome, so far so good. Haven't had a major change in the uh, loyalty points quite yet. And haven't had a major change in uh, the actual chip counts, too, so that's helpful. Oh, we got ourselves another wild bonus. That's two bats. <laughs> we got three bats in there. Let's see if we can get up. Oh, let's get that bonus. Oh, 1.8 mil. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is about four times the bet. That's actually kind of a cool little feature. Don't think I noticed that last time that it was a specific number of the bet. Oh, not bad. Got some wilds. Oh, and we got another three times bonus there. Oh, there's another stacker. That's three times we get to tap that. Let's tap it. Oh, shoot, hold up. We got a Disco Dracula bonus. Let's get eight stars. Get that Disco Ball jackpot. Two, three, and four. All right, that was worth it. Two stars already. Let's go, let's go. All right, how many stars do we need to wrap this? Two, three, four. All right. Go this way now. Oh, times one. Okay, that's a times one bonus. All right, that's cool though. So we got two times bonuses going forward. That's what I really liked about this game. So we uh, get double prizes here. 
And this is our third pick. Going for that top row. Oh, we need more. Oh, nope. Oh. We didn't get enough stars. Sorry, guys. Unless... No, that's still one big enough star, so it wouldn't matter. That's a four times multiplier. And that makes those a bit beefier. Alright, nine million on that total win. Let's go. And there's four. And let's go ahead and crack this uh, coffin open, see what's inside. And that's 1.3 million. Yeah, we're about 60 spins in at this point over here. Just about done with the uh, first half of the experiment. This just isn't taking much. I'm actually genuinely curious as to how this is all going to work out mathematically. I might exclusively just start playing high roller room after this, depending on how it goes. And also guys, don't forget, you can always submit your own My Vegas experiments and questions. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I keep uh, plenty of chips for you guys. Oh, is that two of them that I get to keep? Oh no, I only get to keep one. Might have to see if I can get a montage of all of the bonus sessions in My Vegas ever. Let's tap on this. That was spin number 75. Is that a bonus? No, it's not. Okay, it's a, it's a chip bonus, so that's good. It's not a bonus game, but it's a chip bonus, so that's good stuff. Not sure. Okay, there's 400 more loyalty. Oh, and we got another coffin over here. Not bad, though. Get that 81, and let's crack her open. Boom, baby. 1.4. Oh, and there's another coffin. We're just, like, loading up with the coffins over here. Hopefully that brings us to another bonus game and uh, keeps... Oh, it's two of them back to back like that again. That's three of them. Oh, dude, that stack. That stack, guys. Oh, too strong. Too strong. What do we do with this? That was too strong. And we got another one. Let's see what this bonus leads us to. Not another... Uh, Round of Disco Dracula there, but yeah, we got uh, we got a few more spins to go. Now we're hoping for one more big win. All right, guys, that was a hundred spins there. So it looks like we kind of broke even there. I think we lost like a uh, hundred thousand loyalty points, but it's not even that big a deal. Uh, just looking at it, yeah, we lost about a hundred thousand. Uh, no, actually less than that. It was about 80,000 loyalty points we lost. I'll go ahead and get an exact number in a moment. And we picked up about 400 LPs, so that's not a bad deal. And that's after 100 spins. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and do a 5 grand uh, bet line against the high roller room. So hang on just a second, and we're going to try that out. Okay, we are back in the High Roller Room over here. Let's go ahead and check out Disco Dracula High Roller Edition. Okay, we are back in the High Roller Edition of the room over here. Minimum bet is 2 million. I found that fascinating. So we're going to be betting about 30 million a spin over here, meaning that we're going to put 3 billion through the machine and see how much damage we can do. We put a half a billion in the machine last time, and I think we picked up like 5,000 LP. So we're going to go ahead and see if we do more than that. So... Let's go ahead and put 100 more spins on the clock here. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Here's our first one. Oh, and that picked us up uh, another 400 immediately. So that didn't take much. Yeah, I feel like this uh, whole video is just going to be uh, leveling up and picking up uh, loyalty point bonuses of 400 uh, or more. Now immediately I'm saying the swing goes a lot higher, but let's go ahead and see what happens when we hit our first bonus. 
We're only about 10% of the way there, and it feels like it's going a lot faster too, I noticed. Now we're still playing at about the same level there, that's the interesting thing. Playing that grand jackpot there. And let's see how quickly we burn through the rest of these chips here. The low roller in me is saying, no, don't do this, but then the uh, inner high roller I have is like, hey, you know what, you got chips to burn, bro, burn them away. Nice. Also, it's not our first time getting into the billions, so I don't particularly mind. I just really wish I remembered exactly how the last Disco Dracula game went. Maybe I'll go ahead and watch the old video. And just getting those 500 LPs back to back to back. It actually even jumped up in between. I swear, that, that, that sound is just not going to go away. I'm going to dream about that sound. Oh man, we're going to need a big bonus pretty soon here if you want to keep up. We're already about a third of the way through. Maybe I should have played this on uh, two separate days. I don't think I've won a single big bonus so far. Alright, that's not bad. But I still need a big bonus game. You gotta listen to me, game. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's get a coffin. Oh man, those coffins keep teasing me there. I wonder if I actually have to bet higher. We're just past that halfway point right now. And so far, just not making a lot of profit. Oh, there's a double wild spin. Let's see what this one opens up to. 28 million. And let's go ahead and tap on that. Okay, 97 million. All right, that's actually not bad in relative terms. I think uh, 97 million was the biggest thing that we won on the last best games in my Vegas that we watched. Or that we played through the most recent new game, The Powers of the Nile. We're already about two way. Yeah, we're about two thirds of the way there right now. And uh, still haven't gotten any big disco Dracula bonus. No dance in Dracula. On the bright side, these loyalty points are just tracking us down. Alright, 75% of the way through. Oh, there we go, we got another, uh, got another coffin. This one, and there's the 80. Come on, let's go. Let's see what's in this coffin now. Here we go, guys. Oh, disco ball jackpot! Okay, let's see how much, uh, oh, we get to spin the disco ball. Alright, let's go, let's get that grand, let's get that grand. Even a major would be amazing right here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a miner. Okay, 300 million. Not bad, not bad. 360 million. All right. That's cool. That's cool. We can get behind that. Let's spin 81. I know we're definitely not going to make our chips back <laughs> on this one over here. We just sank too many into it. And let's see how we did. Oh man, so close. I think we definitely need another uh, coffin here if we ever hope to even break even. Yeah, look at how quickly we're racking up LPs though. Every other spin at this point. It still hasn't locked me out. Alright, last spin. Let's go, guys. Alright, cool, cool. Well, that was... Uh, that kind of roughed us up a little bit, so it looks like we lost Ooh, upwards of 2.2 billion. But we picked up somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000 LPs. And that's just after about 15 minutes worth of work over here. So hey, let me go ahead and take a break. We're gonna do some maths here and then we're going to uh, count up the booty. Alright my spinners and sharks, so I did a little side-by-side -side comparison over here. 
So on the bright side, it looks like we earned a lot more loyalty points. In fact, I did the math and it looks like we earned over 50 times the LPs in approximately half the time. It took us about 13 minutes to go ahead and cut our way through 100 spins on the regular Disco Dracula, and it only took us about 7 to cut our way through 100 spins on the High Roller Edition there. So yeah, we didn't quite win as many chips, but we earned 50 times the loyalty points in half the time. So you double that, you get 100 times the loyalty points, just pound for pound. Now, the unfortunate thing about that is because we didn't get remotely as many bonuses, we had 27,000 times the loss. We lost 2.2 billion, or just over half our bankroll compared to only losing about 80,000. Uh, when we played on the, uh, <laughs> when, when we just played on the regular uh, My Vegas slots, so there's that 27,000. So it's the high roller room for you if you guys have the loyalty points that you need desperately before a trip very quickly, and you have the bankroll to do it. Definitely go ahead and go for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna say slow and steady wins the race. So which one's the better one for earning loyalty points? High roller room, definitely. If not, if you're not in any hurry, like most of us aren't because of the lockdown, then I say just take your time and play through it slowly. Alright then, spinners and sharks, that's all the time we have for today's video. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, big shout out to our friends over at Play Studios for hooking us up with the loyalty points and the chips necessary to conduct this experiment. So until next time then, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.